If you're anything like me, then it can be challenging trying to keep track of all the ideas that you have. Especially when we're talking about creativity, it can be hard to stay organized when you're researching topics ranging from illustration to storytelling. If you want to learn how effective note taking can help you with your creativity, then stick around. My name's Sid, and on this channel I document my journey in learning the skills required to be a self-sufficient creative. Developing an efficient note-taking system is one of the best ways that you can organize your thoughts and ideas. Good note-taking can support the creative process and allow you to be productive at the same time. It's also a great way to help you combat the challenge of being overwhelmed by not knowing where to start. When you develop a structure for your note-taking, it makes it easy for you to refer back to your ideas and use them for future projects. This means that it'll be significantly easier for you to start new projects because you'll already have some ideas documented and organized. Personally, developing a strong note-taking system was crucial when I first began making YouTube videos again. It allowed me to collect all of my ideas and research into an organized system. That way I never really have to start from scratch. I always start the writing process with at least an idea of what the video will be about. When you keep all of your ideas in an organized collection, you can build off of them when you need to. So now that I've gone into a little bit about how effective note-taking can support the creative process, I'm going to discuss some of the things that you should keep in mind when developing a note-taking routine. Disclaimer, there is no perfect system that will work for everyone, but these are some tips that'll help you get started and you can change it to fit your needs. The first thing that you should do is create an environment that allows you to write with minimal distractions. If you've seen my video about setting up a writing ritual, then you're already familiar with this concept. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it for you right here so that you can learn how to set up your writing space. Simply put, make sure that your workspace is free of distractions. Put your phone on Do Not Disturb and make sure that if you take notes on a computer or iPad that you silence incoming notifications. The next thing that you should keep in mind is that developing good habits around writing is extremely important. You need to make time for note taking, just like you would need to make time for writing anything else. There's two kinds of note taking to worry about for right now. The first one is spontaneous notes, and the second one is research notes. Spontaneous notes, like the name suggests, are when you spontaneously jot down ideas while you're going about your daily life. This could be when you're at work and you think of a great idea for a piece of artwork or a YouTube video, or it could be while you're reading a book or watching a show. These notes are quick and uncategorized at first. Research notes, on the other hand, require you to make dedicated time for researching topic. Whether it's for a YouTube video, podcast, or whatever project you're working on, research note taking is where you review your spontaneous notes and categorize them, as well as take more detailed notes expanding on these ideas. Keep in mind that bullet points will be your friend at this stage. You can start with one idea or topic that you thought of spontaneously and expand it into a more detailed note. If you make time to review your notes as often as possible, it'll become easier and easier for you to get your point across and you'll be more comfortable with the process of note taking. It's also important to consider learning new systems that will benefit you in the future. My personal choice for note taking, which is called Notion, took me many hours to learn, but it was worth it because I now have a system that makes it as easy as possible for me to take and organize my notes. You don't have to use the same application as I do, but when you're looking for an app or program to use for note taking, here are some things that you should keep in mind. The first thing is that your notes should be available and usable on any device, even a cell phone. This is important because even though you should dedicate time just for writing and note taking, having your notes accessible anywhere means that when an idea pops into your head, you can immediately jot it down, then you can organize it when you have the time. A good note taking application should also include levels of hierarchy. And what I mean by this is that you should be able to make categories and notes within other notes, and you should be able to organize them. This is where Notion really shines as it allows you to create databases, notes within those databases, and create categories in which those notes are organized. For example, I have a database called Content, which is basically like a notebook. And within that notebook, I have different categories such as videos, podcasts, YouTube research, video production, all with corresponding notes within each category. This makes it easy for me to know where specific notes are or should go if I'm organizing them. The program you choose should also make it easy to sort through your different criteria. This is helpful for me because it lets me filter any note that's about video ideas, for example. It's also helpful if your note-taking application allows you to easily add photos or scans of physical documents to your notes. This makes it possible to easily digitize your handwritten notes if you want. The reason that I chose Notion for taking notes is because it fulfills basically all of my criteria. It's definitely not a perfect application, and there's many things that I wish were better about it. For example, autocorrect isn't as precise as it would be in Microsoft Word or Pages, and it can be difficult to copy text from your notes on a mobile device. But for me, it's worth putting up with the minor inconveniences because of how capable the app is. Notion can also be pretty intimidating at first if you're not super tech savvy. It lacks many of the simple graphics that you might be used to if you're coming from something like Microsoft Word. Notion will take time to learn, and it definitely isn't for everyone. But it's free to use, and there's a massive community of people creating templates that can make it even easier for you to get started. 
Because of these templates, I use Notion for taking notes, scheduling my YouTube videos, writing the scripts and outlines for those videos, scheduling my upcoming podcast episodes, and managing my daily tasks. I'm going to put a link in the description to YouTuber Thomas Frank's video about Notion, and also to his templates, which helped me get started when I was using Notion. If you don't want to use Notion, I completely understand. You can still take great notes even using the default iPhone app if you want. The important thing is to stay organized and to be consistent about it. And remember that it should be easy for you to spontaneously jot down notes wherever you are. Hopefully the tips in this video will be helpful for you when it comes to taking more organized notes for whatever your project is. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could share it with anyone that you think would benefit from a little bit more organization in their life. Also subscribe to the channel as I upload weekly videos about a new step in my journey to being a self-sufficient creative. And you can also add me on Instagram, link in the description if you want to follow my journey on there too.